Hello, good morning. This is Akeem from Artemis Computer Technology. And today's lesson is learning how to use malware bytes, anti malware. Now, malware bytes, anti malware, is a computer application that finds and removes malware. Not only does it remove malware, it also removes viruses, Trojan horses, adware, spyware, and rootkits. Now, I love using malware bytes. Um, I was introduced to it by uh, good friend of mine a couple years ago by installing it and he said that you know, it works great on his computer also he finds it that when he's doing virus scan it finds more than actually other virus programs out here now since I already have my web bytes installed onto my desktop computer here you see that I have a little icon here which which is uh, right here at my top dock now now that's something that I like to do sometimes, you know, just to uh, you know, give my desktop a great look. But for these purposes, you also, when you have it installed, you could click on your notification area. You also see that you have a little icon here, and it would show you. Now, right click on it, start scanner. Now when you click start scanner, you will see that in a few that you'll get a box. Just like this one that just popped up, malware bytes, anti-malware. And you also see that I'm using the pro version. Now the pro version is has more features than the free version. Now pro version, you get more protection when you internet browsing, and you just performing basic tasks on the on your on the internet on your computer. Now protection enable means that um, my computer is protected also with my and also with my antivirus program. Now another thing, my webbytes does not conflicts with your antivirus program see that I have VAS in that security installed there is no conflict when it when my web bytes is doing a scanning and it that will not conflict with your antivirus program now another great thing about my web bytes is, is it does not take up a lot of memory it does not slow your computer down if you're doing a full scan you can still do a form of full scan and still internet browse at the same time it will not hold a lag on your computer memory now we're going to start the scanner now when you click on the scanner tab you see that there are three options that you can perform perform a quick scan perform full scan and also perform flash scan now we perform a quick scan we're going, we're going to do that for these for today for these training purposes click perform quick scan we click that already now click scan now when you do scan it's going to do its initial it's going to do its initial run now you see that it's it's first thing that it shows you always is is scanning memory options for infection that's another great thing and look how fast it's going you see i can i can still move my cursor around and it will not lag on my computer will not take up no no memory anything now we perform a quick scan a quick scan depend on your computer it will take about five to eight minutes sometimes more but performing a quick scan is is very great do it but you know for if you wanna be sure about it perform a full scan that's what I like to do perform a full scan and notice also when we perform a full scan you can select what drives that you wanna use for scanning for my web bytes to scan now sometimes I do scan my flash drives sometimes I scan external hard drives and at times I do scan you know external and also flash drives from friends of mine that you know, they give to me like, yeah you know sometimes they, they don't want it sometimes I'm for a full scan I don't want anything infecting my computer because not um, most times infections are caused by external components which are flash drives and also external hard drives now I don't want anything like that now you see that it changed from memory options now it's in your file system options for infection now that's another great thing that I love because you know when it's checking your file system and it's also doing everything that it can now look at that one minute and 43 seconds and look how fast that is going and object to rate scans already 33,000 see it's pretty quick that, 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 that's one thing that I love about it. Now we're gonna let that finish and let that run for a bit and see what goes on there from there. Now this is just for training purposes 
and everything, you know, just to get people familiar with malware bites. Not a lot of people know about it. Well, you know, check out their website. Uh, their website has a lot of more information about using their using their software. Now, we just gonna click a board scan. Just want to show y'all real quick about and click yes here. Now, when you get a board scan, we click and just sometimes when your full scan is over you'll get this little log file here simple text file you're using notepad pretty simple now you, you'll see that it'll show you that you're using malware bytes 1.51.2.1300 and this is their website right here you can also get a lot of more information now the database version that I'm using is 83.16 and that is the latest version right now as of today and it's pretty pretty simple it'll show you with you know with, with windows operating system that you have with internet browser that you use the date in your log file which is simple text files txt now it also tells you your scan type we just did a quick scan just for today um, you know, for training purposes you know just so you, people could get familiar with it I wouldn't really like y'all to get familiar with it. And object scan, you know, it's it's only thirty five thousand. But more if you do a full scan, it's gonna be totally much more than that. Absolutely. But time lapse is only two minutes and twenty four seconds. It also tells you how much time that it that it performed a, a scan on your computer. Now memory processes and everything else, it'll give you a whole detail about anything. What what was it? What was infected? What was detected? Now that's another great thing about using this now sometimes I know a lot of um computer companies that use this they also you know customize this text file right here and put their computer name and they print this out and show the actual customer like hey this is what my software found on the computer just you know basic evidence to show them about you know this is what we found on the computer and um this is this is it well, we're going to X out, out of this notepad file right here. Click an X. Yeah. Now, my webbytes are still running here. And, and you see that my webbytes is pretty simple. It's pretty quick. It will not interfere with your antivirus program, which you have installed. And it just runs a full scan. And it will not take up a lot of memory. You can still internet browse. You can still type up your research paper that whatever you're doing you can still play a video and you will not get any any halts in your processor now that was today's lesson about learning and using malware bytes please yes thank you now I'll take y'all to my website my company's website here Artemis computer technology just a little basic stuff well our website is www.artemiscomptech com now uh, I will post this video you can also see that click on a link and videos did and also I will click I will post this video to our our company's website and also to our YouTube video and that was today about learning malware bytes and it is a great program that I use I have it installed on my desktop my laptops also my uh, netbooks now if you if you love it download it i really recommend using my web bytes and using a pro version you're better protected and then if you just want to use free version free version is pretty quick it's pretty it's pretty good and, and if you just want to perform a full scan but some people prefer different now that was today and i really thank you and appreciate it for looking at my video and that is all thank you